Hey guys, this is Roman with Deer Park Farmstead, so check it out. One of the little chicks. We set up the brooder in the woodshed because they were stinking up the house. So we had to make some changes. It's a little chilly, so I'm gonna put this guy back, but I'm gonna show you what I did to the brooder to make it a little better and um, I guess the turkeys and the roosters want to crow, but uh, I made it a little better, more predator proof. So let's have a look. Okay, here we are inside the woodshed brooder area. And here is the brooder. Now we've got the two feeders going now. They're eating a lot. And the heater is fitting in here perfectly now. That dome is great. And what the dome does is it keeps them from climbing up and getting, you know, burned on top of the plate. So that helps and it fits under this just perfectly. But I wanted to make this with two by fours, this top, to make it heavy make it to where there's no way an animal can push it over and get in here. It's pretty stout, pretty heavy. So got that nice and strong and I stapled this on with half inch staples. So it's on there pretty good. So, and I put a lot. So that's working out really well, really well. And also, these guys have, <laughs> so these guys have a bit of Moran and uh, also they have Americana. So that's going to make them with, make them olive eggers. So we've got a good amount of olive eggers as well as a couple of the cream crested leg bar so you know it's it's not a lot it's 10 <laughs> look at them peeking out hey guys come on it's okay they're getting big uh as far as the olive eggers you're getting huge the uh cream crested leg bars not so much this guy over here peeking out that's one of the cream crested so it's it's just a crazy how big, much bigger the olive eggers are in comparison to the cream crusted leg bars. Get the water over here. They're doing really good. We kind of have to keep that a little up above the wood chips so they don't get any in there. And we'll have water all the time. So this works out really well. Happy to have our brooder out here. They can smell this wood shed up all they want. Yep, just poop it up, you guys. Happy to say that this leg bar is doing, a leg horn, I'm sorry, it's a brown leg horn. It's doing much better. You can see the bandage I put on its leg. She has, she's having a little trouble still. She's not, a, you know, agreeing with that bandage, but it's helping her. Uh, her. Her feet were even getting a little curled, but that has since resided as well. So that's good. She's walking so much better. I mean, she was laying on the ground. It was, it was sad to see her all jacked up like that. But now she's walking a lot more strong Real happy about that. So, good news there. I've got a shout out to my brother too, so stay tuned. I'm gonna give you a little shout out to my brother, Trapper J Outdoors. So I wanted to give my buddy a shout out, Trapper J Outdoors. He doesn't really need it. His channel is just taking off, just blowing up right now. And it's well deserved. His channel is incredible. Uh, even if you're not into trapping, 
just check it out. I, I'm telling you, I've, you know, I've never been into trapping, but just, it's just so intriguing to watch this footage. I'm glued, I told him even, I'm glued from start to finish. And it's just very well done footage. And he's just got it all, the merch, uh, great looking merch. So check out Trapper J Outdoors, you won't be disappointed. All right, you guys, so I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Be well.